Just last week I made a video about how you can animate and loop an object around a path inside of Adobe After Effects. And if you haven't already seen that video, I'll link to it in the video description. The project files are also available for download on my website. So for that particular video, I actually used the racetrack from the 24 Hours of Le Mans as my path. And I was able to find that data online via Google My Maps. I could download the path of the racetrack via a KML file, which is a geospatial data file. So After Effects doesn't work with this format directly. So in today's video, I wanted to show you how I was able to bring it in and incorporate it in my project. Okay, so I'm gonna break this down into a few simple steps. For the first step, I'm gonna do a search for Le Mans uh, racetrack map. That's gonna lead me to a number of results here. But the one I'm looking for is this one. It says Le Mans Circuit Google My Maps. So if you don't know about Google My Maps, this is a, a site where you can go and create your own custom Google Map and you could share it, put all your own markers, you could put lines. It's uh, really, really cool. And actually, I've created to, uh, another tutorial about this on how you can create your own map and then export it out and use it uh, to create animations using another Google product called Google Earth Studio. I'm gonna share a link another link in the video description. We're gonna have a lot of links in the video description, but I'm gonna share with you that tutorial because that's a really cool tutorial. So here you can see that this is some map that somebody's created and shared it to the public. Number of different markers here representing all the different spaces on the, the racetrack here. And we have the two lines here. And this is these are the main things I want. I don't really want all the markers. So to download this, I'm gonna click on this little menu bar and right here it says download KML. So now I'll click on this and I have a couple of different options. I can, um, if I had multiple layers, I could specify what I want to download. Um, the only thing I want to do is I want to select that, I want to export this as a KML instead of a KMZ. KMZ is essentially like a compressed version of a, of a KML. And it says it does not support all icons, that's fine. You can actually do custom icons here. I'm not too worried about that. I'm gonna click OK. Okay, so it's downloaded. I have my KML right here. Now, once again, KML is a geospatial data file. It was created by Google, and it's not friendly with Adobe After Effects, meaning you can't import it directly into Adobe After Effects. So how are we gonna make this work? Well, we're gonna need to do some conversions to a more friendly format. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first go to a website that actually has a geospatial data converter. So right here, I'm gonna type in mygeodata.cloud. Really cool website, it has a free converter. You can convert, I think um, without an account or with a free account, you can convert three files per month uh, free of charge. So right here it says upload geospatial files and it's showing me all the different ways you can convert it. There's a lot more than just this, but I'm gonna go ahead and upload this. Select add files, I'm gonna navigate to my KML, bring that, select continue. It's showing me the layer that it has selected here. There was the untitled layer in there. Um, so I could remove specific layers if I had a more um, kind of a more detailed or intricate KML file. And right here is my output format. I'm going to type in PDF. And right here, PDF is available. Right over here is the Convert Now button. So I'm going to click on this, showing me the information, and here's the Download button. Okay, so now I have my PDF. And once again, this is still not great for working with Adobe After Effects. However, this will work in Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to open this up inside of Adobe Illustrator and let's see what we have and what we can do with this particular file. And now essentially what I'm trying to do here is I wanna bring this into Adobe After Effects so I can have it as a shape element, as a path. So once I have that, that opens up all the other tools, the animator tools and the strokes, the fills, the repeaters. So we just wanna figure out the best way to bring it in. So here I have my layer and there are a number of different elements. Once again, I don't want these, uh, basically these marker locations and I can see them right here. I have all these different groups and right here are the two paths. And those are the two things that I wanna bring inside of Adobe After Effects. So if I just turn, let me just turn all of these off and I'm gonna grab the two paths here and I wanna go ahead and join these up. So I wanna create one path, so I'm gonna select both of them and then go to object and select path join oh and you know what i did wrong here these are actually groups i'm not i'm not really good with adobe illustrator so let me see what i can do here actually let me just grab the actual paths here and uh, bring them out of these groups there we go and now let me just select these two and now go to object path join once again if you're an illustrator guru there's probably a better way to do this 
Okay, so now I have the individual path, and what I can do now is I can go to File, Save As, and we'll just save this out as an Adobe Illustrator file. Right here under Save As Type, Adobe Illustrator. One quick tip, if you're working a lot between Adobe Illustrator and Adobe After Effects, there's a really, really cool and very, very powerful extension called Overlord. So if I go to Extensions, Overlord, this is a premium plugin. I think it costs $49 or $39, but it has all these incredibly powerful tools. Um, I'm not going to show you in depth right now, but for instance, I can just select this path and send it uh, over to After Effects right now immediately, and it will send it over as a shape layer. So this would uh, leapfrog over a bunch of the steps I'm about to do. So I'm going to create a tutorial profiling this plugin soon. It's got a bunch of other features, and you can also push things, um, or you can also pull elements from After Effects to, to Adobe Illustrator. This is really one of the most powerful plugins um, for Adobe After Effects, in my opinion. But save that for another time, my friends. And now I can grab this Adobe Illustrator file, which is going to work very well inside of Adobe After Effects. And here it is. And now I can just bring it straight into my comp here. Right now you're not seeing anything, but if I click on the transparency button, here we have this little path. Now we're still not finished um, because we want to turn it into a shape layer. It's not a shape layer right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click Create create shapes from vector layer. And now, bada bing, that's created um, the shape over here. I'm gonna delete the AI layer. And I'm gonna actually rename this. Now, if I zoom in here, I can see, actually, if I, I can just probably double click it. There we go. Now you can see I have all the vertices here. This is an actual path. And I can go up here and change the stroke color. Can change the stroke width. And uh, you're really going to see now I can just do anything I want with this inside of Adobe After Effects. And you know what? Just to show you, um, I'm going to go back to Adobe Illustrator. And let me grab this path. And I'll go to Window, Extensions, Overlord. Now watch. If I push it, I'm going to click on this Push Selection to AE. And it's going to go over to After Effects. And look at that. It automatically sent this. It says Layer 1 here. But it automatically sent this as the shape. And I don't have to convert it as a shape and uh, once again this tool is extremely powerful all right now just to really quickly show you this is a shape I'm going to open this up we have the path here this is one path otherwise it would have come um, as two paths and it's just a little bit more messy so I wanted to join those inside of uh, Adobe Illustrator but you can see now I can do whatever I want with this I can add a trim paths and I can do my animations and uh, if you want to go check out that other tutorial where I do, I create an animated uh, Le Mans, 24 hours of Le Mans logo with this, it's pretty fun. So go check that out. And if you want to get Overlord, please use my affiliate link in the video description. I make a commission off that and I got kids to feed, yo. Okay, so there you have it. That's how you can bring a KML file into Adobe After Effects. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you know of a better method, please let me know in the comment section. And if you create something cool, please share a link with me in the comment section. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more map related and After Effects content, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell.